This is a very full apartment, and I don't know who, like, most of these people are. <laughs> they just kind of walk in off the street. At least Erp is here. Erp's having a good time. He's like, hey, I'm the main character here. Why, why is this episode about someone else? I don't understand. Hey there, friends. How's it going? My name is Kevin, and today we're playing The Sims 4. This is a long-running series, so for all of you new subscribers, and there's a lot of you, thank you for that, by the way, I've prepared a little rundown, because by looking around the house, you can instantly see there are uh, issues. We started our journey in the year 1503 as John Earp, the happy-go-lucky fellow with the four arms of a god. We moved in across the hall from Jim Pickens and made lots of babies with lots of women. Fast forward and Jim moves in. The focus shifts to Jim. He ruins the family and moves on. He gets his own house and builds chambers in the basement and starts a cult. And now here we are. <laughs> Classic Sims. What is this? What do you want? The school bus? Yeah, you brought him home. Oh, it's Jim standing in front of the bus. <laughs> He's fucking running from the bus. He was definitely a troubled person ever since he was a child. They're gone. Gossiping about their son. Nice. Have you noticed he stands in front of buses like all day? <laughs> oh god, there's a cockroach infestation. Just leave it. Leave it happen. It's nature, man. Throw party. It's the only thing that'll fix our moods. Thanks for the invite. It's like, who's available for a spur of the moment party at 7am? You know what? Sell these beads. Perfect. Now. Enjoy the party, folks. You're stranded all of a sudden. A spontaneous moat has appeared, and the only escape is by diving in. <laughs> oh, for feck's sake, because he had to go around the back, he missed the school bus. Jim's gonna get taken away. This is how the story's gonna end. You blew it big time. No more second chances for you. Military school is your next stop. We won't be seeing your face around here again, that's for sure. <laughs> Oh, I think he's getting taken away and sent to military school. Interesting turn of events. I don't think he's gonna last there either. Right, well, their son got taken away. <laughs> if only he could have made it to that bus a little bit sooner. <laughs> oh, this no. is too good. Why is he fidgeting so much? Stop it. Whoa, where'd we get that money from? She's earned three grand? What? What's her job? She gets $400 an hour? Her husband gets 35. Jesus Christ. Right, may maybe Jim's after the wrong person here. Oh, that's so weird. Rudy just burst into flames for no apparent reason. <clears throat> Again, just total coincidence. She's like, what's what's going on in here, I wonder? Why are you laughing so much? Hmm. Oh no, but she's energized. He has fallen and he cannot get up. <gasps> A nice big hug for death. Express admiration. I can't think of anything more fitting. We made a lot of progress with death today. Hey, I know I was, like, hitting on you earlier and stuff, but I'm your new dad. Uh, what would a dad do in this situation? Rave about favorite singers, I imagine. Look, look, I know your dad just died, okay? But I love Fleetwood Mac! Uh, uh, <laughs> Quaxana! What? Where's she going? Oh dear. I'm not sure what I've done. That did it. She's dying from the embarrassment. Man, killing people sure makes me hungry. <laughs> Even these strangers are crying. You actually liked the girl. This has never been performed before. Oh, he looks determined. The kiss of death, everybody. <laughs> oh, he embraced it. He likes that. Well, at least he went out on a high. He's just out here waiting for him. Just like your son, you will go gracefully. Don't worry. That's poisoned, by the way. I just wanted you to go humanely. I really didn't want you to go peaceful into the night suffering. And that's how a man feels after he kills an entire family. See you next time, Death. Your favorite customer. Jim Pickens. <laughs> and just like that, you're alone. Oh. That m flash right there, that little blur of speed was BJ. How are you, buddy? Sell all lot furnishings. So we have 1,565. And now we have 177,000. Jesus Christ. Well, you know what we gotta do. Or dear leader. Or dear leader. Or dear leader. Or dear leader. Uh, I think the F grade ingredients are working. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, that guy just warped away out of shock. She's bringing over her meal like death. Can you check on this for me? Oh, no, she's gonna just continue eating. <laughs> he's like, it can't have been the food. Sure, he's just keeled over it in his food, but it can't have been the food. Even the guy sitting next to him is like, oh, this is pretty good. <laughs> Continues to eat. Oh, there she goes. What's that for? 
Oh good, someone's just dead in their food again. Whew, I thought it was for me for a second. Oh, there you are. Right, while everyone's distracted, go. Like, they're all way too busy to pay attention. Wait, I think my chef literally died from old age just now. Maybe I can plead for her. Please, she's the only one who will work for this horrible wage. Oh, thank God, she's been brought back. Okay, good. Get back in the kitchen. I imagine he said something along the lines of, please, if you let her live, she will kill so many people with her cooking. It'll get you so much extra business. It's okay, folks. She's alive. But some of you may not be in a second. <laughs> Wait, what? She's just dying again. I just went through this to save you. Kendrick's pissed. I don't blame him. I'm pissed too. It feels like the game is just generating random sims now. Not looking at anyone in particular. I'm just saying that people are starting to look a bit generic. <laughs> it's like my game has run out. Oh god, here goes Mr. Generic. Why was I created just to suffer? Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Jules Cooper is dying from laughter. What the feck? Don't you die on me, man. What is he laughing at? Jim, you gotta really pull in one of your connections here. What? What made him laugh so much? Jules, no. You were too perfect for this world. Oh, I think he's just realized something's gone wrong. Okay, how about this? They each wear their cloaks, and then they get a choice of some pre-approved haircuts. But, uh, there's only one pre-approved haircut <laughs> her expression sums it up doesn't it maybe she hasn't seen it on her yet and she's just shocked that you know this one has done it now we just need some pictures of jim up on the wall oh he's too convincing as a jim he could like go to work for jim and no one would notice he's even got the right kind of expression there we go a nice profile picture he's got a big smile up on him and everything look at that it's already beautiful he's probably wondering where his new friend has gone <laughs> He doesn't have a clue. Wait, invite the headmaster? Yeah, invite the headmaster over. I want to get into college. The local private school headmaster is interested in coming for dinner. Do you feel like entertaining? If so, there might be admittance to the private school in the works. Yes. Good, I'll be over at five. Oh my god, that gives us like no time. I gotta buy some stuff fast. My hat is just constantly spinning. I guess that means he's happy. Look, greet everyone. Just come in. Mole person, get out of here. Wait, how did I get in here? I'm not supposed to be allowed in the walls. Why is he going up there to greet her? I don't understand where he's going. He went up and then back down the stairs. Alright, I don't have time for your feckin' nonsense. The headmaster's coming over. Oh, what's this present, though? It's a new computer. Oh my god, the mole people go really close to the TV. <laughs> Alright, let's buy him, like, a cake or something. Oh, look, party stuff. Alright, I think we're good to go. Now we just gotta wait for five. What the hell is going on here? Get out of my house if you're doing lovey-dovey stuff. I got a headmaster to impress. Jim is very close to the TV, too. Alright, the headmaster will be arriving. Mole people, light the fires. Yes, sacrifice for the headmaster. All right, back into the walls, mole people. Why is he saluting the mole people? Oh no, he's saluting the dog, I guess. All right, we're ready for the principal to arrive. There you are, good. Oh, it's the same guy who carpools with me. How come you take the good care for him? All right, welcome to the party house. Oh, no, stop eating that shit, can't you clean? Uh, you feckin' serve dinner. Look, at uh, hamburgers. Ask to join. Fancy a log roll, headmaster? <laughs> no, other side, you idiot. Wait, come on, you're making me look like an idiot. Just try and beat me. Look how much fun you're having. Oh, wait, there's nothing to do with fun. It's tour points. Okay, give him a tour. Wait, what the hell? What the fuck was that? Can I see through to underneath? Oh, I guess I can. That was fucking scary. I just saw someone walking in the water. Hey, Jim, is Mole 3 available to talk? Yeah, why not? Oh my god, what the hell? This, this isn't burgers. You were in the middle of giving him a tour. What are you doing? Just move the bad stuff into the room I showed him already. Oh, this one I got slightly more on. Good. I'll show you my bedroom, I guess. So, would you like to see my bedroom? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you really like this room. Hey, so I know I invited you to dinner and everything, but uh, I've got no food. <laughs> My mole people ate it all. <laughs> I must have gotten into the fridge again. I wasn't too impressed with the tour. I was expecting to see a more suitable environment for the child. Woohoo. To whom? Everyone. <laughs> okay, so that's one club activity. <laughs> Clean. That's a good activity. Fix objects. Yeah, that's another good one. This is all fun group activities. Tend the garden. That's another good one. Love doing that with my friends. Be mischievous to everyone. Band activities. Look for frogs. <laughs> There'll be none of that. Not at my club. <sighs> what the? Where am I? What the hell is this place? Wait a second. I didn't specify what sim I wanted to be. Wait, no, 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 no! What the 
fuck. God damn it. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Back. All right, torch. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, brush. Okay, all right. Hey there friends, my name is Jim Pickens, and Kevin's gone forever. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, thank god that was a nightmare. Oh, I felt so real. <sighs> oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> oh, just a dream. Just a really stupid dream. <sighs> That's right, babe. Go back to sleep. Ah! Oh, what? The... I guess that was the dream. Wait a second. Oh, what the f- He is eager. <laughs> Holy crap, he's burning him fast. Jesus. He didn't even use the cremation. This poor guy, he just got to this neighborhood. <laughs> oh. Now oh, he's warming himself. I think with the fire and this man burning alive, it might be warm enough in that room. But you know what? You work away. You be you, Jim. You warm yourself. Wait, I can invite him? I thought he was dead, but okay, yeah, invite him. See what, see what happens. What the fuck? He's right there! Alright, we gotta get passionate about this killing, because clearly I just phoned it in last time. <laughs> Wait, how'd you get out of the basement? Someone from my cult got out. He's running away. I didn't have anything to do with this. Oh no, what happened here? I just- I just turned up. You don't understand, I am you. Look at them getting so angry at each other. They're like sizing each other up. The difference is, I can do this. Yeah, that's right, I just drowned you in your own pee. Get over it. What an odd group to go on a holiday. Welcome to the jungle, human. Some handy adventure items have been added to your inventory. Okay. If you plan on exploring the jungle, you should first stop by the marketplace. Okay. Wait, what? Is he also dying now? Well, at least someone got their farewell holiday, but that was my new slave. Ah, god damn it. Sick tattoo though, bro. Ah. <laughs> he wakes up like, ah, oh, another one has died. Just be sure to take that. We're gonna need it. Just an awkward silence between the three of them. <laughs> Gonna be a bit suspicious when Jim goes off into the jungle with like three other people and only one comes back. <laughs> <laughs> it's a party. I, I thought I'd, I'd come as Leia. <laughs> Puts on his cool shades. He's like, I'm not anyone's dad. I'm here because I'm friends with the birthday girl. <laughs> They're all like off cuts of Jim. Like, I mean, you have Scarlet who got his looks. We got... <laughs> Tim, who got his intelligence, and then we got BJ, who got everything bad about Jim. <laughs> oh, stop fighting with him! Seriously, you're probably going to be living with him at some point. Why are they all in here? This is a bit creepy. Join them, Jim. Join them. This guy's trying to steal a spotlight. Let's feckin' kill him. Uh -huh. Oh god, he's performing some ritual. I think it's pretty obvious who did this. Happy birthday, my baby girl! <laughs> Blow out the candles, honey! Honey, I want to introduce you to death. Come on, nobody even knew who he was. What the hell is it? It looks like he's just got a napkin in there or something. Wait, where is he going? He's taking the weirdest route. Why are you bringing it in here? He brought it all the way to this counter. <laughs> Okay, there is- Ooh, Jim Christ, it is time to rise again. It is Easter Sunday. It is time for you to return, just like the prophecy foretold. Oh, I'm going to hell. She's like, oh, food. She's sniffing it. Oh, no, she's sniffing herself. Okay. Do you feel any different? He's looking right at the camera like, nope. Do you have enough? Did it work? D did it work? Oh, oh. He's back! The dear leader is back! Oh my god, the swamp in the background looks terrifying. <laughs> hey, kid. <laughs> that head jerk, she was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Almost broke her own neck from that. Alright, can I fight people now? Fight! Fight! Oh wait, neighborhood brawl is over. Oh well. Fight! Fight! This will probably only make her love me more for some reason. <laughs> Santa's just having none of it. Can you stop being lazy and actually do something? All of you are just lazying around, not advancing the gang, and I don't like it. What did I just say? <laughs> Never do that again. Oh, I think he might be dead. <laughs> that cheery little tune. Look, let that be a warning to you. You better start pulling your weight or I swear to God. Stay off her territory, okay? 
Well, I don't really need to be warning you now. It's kind of done. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, fruit stall's closed. She's pissed. She's like, oh, now I'm gonna get scurvy. <laughs> he just starts digging in the sand. Wait, she's calling the police. What the shit? Get her. <laughs> Oh my god, now there's another witness. Please don't call the cops. I really don't want to have to make this a triple murder. Look, I'm in a gang. I'm like, oh shit. Uh, I gotta go. Oh no, 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 no. Don't do anything to me. I'm a good guy, really. He's trying to comb the beach for trash. Can you not run away? What What the hell is he doing? He's scaring me. Can we wash that blood off? <laughs> Damn it, it's not coming off. There's the cops digging on our property. <laughs> this isn't good. I would do anything for a line of coke right now, he says. Then buy it from me. Go on, buy some cocaine from me. You know you want it. Wait, I don't think he has any money. Then why are you wasting my time? Can I please have a line of coke now, he says. You're such a beggar. Look, maybe we should just kiss and part ways, okay? <laughs> That's right. Don't ever come here begging for coke. Oh! <laughs> All right, he shot first. Now I can do it. Oh my god. What the hell was that? Jesus Christ. And then he starts acting like a dolphin. <laughs> I think the gang might be in trouble. The right-hand man is freaking out. Oh my god, all this was caught on camera. I'm sleepy. <laughs> Just look at this little picture up there on Love Day. It's covered in blood. Oh yeah, also he's murdering someone. This is a very different Sims game. You know, this is nothing like The Sims 3. The Dear Leader Day is tomorrow. Better start it by having a good Dear Leader Eve. <laughs> That's right, I brought back up. <laughs> oh my god, he just jumped on him. Jesus Christ, what just happened there? I think they just made up. He gave him a little handshake. He's got a stab wound in his chest. He's just walking it off. Dude, Grim, you're my backup. Okay, I probably deserve this. Ow! Run, go, piss! Why are you tooting with a horn in the background? You're supposed to be on my side. Oh, he beat me up pretty good, and I probably deserved that. I killed a lot of people. Wait, he called the cops? You're a gang leader, and you called the cops. That's not gonna fly, I'm afraid. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Wait. How did the cop die? I think the cop shot himself out of shock. Okay, yeah, I'm being arrested. I deserve this, but look, I won the war. <laughs> That's what's important. I, I think I've ended the war. I think um, he won't be causing me any trouble anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's done. He's tapping. Turk is like, oh, look over there. <laughs> Trying to make him feel better. <laughs> Turk, you're gonna have to cheer him up somehow. There you go, Turk. Good job. You cheered him up. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Break out the candles. Make it romantic. Meanwhile, they're in a feckin' dumpster. Okay. I knew there was a spark between those two. <laughs> <laughs> Jim is just fucking laughing. This poor person just showed up. Somebody called Jim. <laughs> Somebody called Jim moved into the building, he says. I should introduce. Yeah, you should introduce. Why does it keep cutting off? Oh my god, this is a horror game all of a sudden. Oh my god. <laughs> It was so slowly. It's like something out of a movie or something, a bad comedy. Oh god. Oh jeez, they're going nuts. They really like each other though. That's a really good sign. Turg and Jim are now friends. Aww. Oh my god, one day a married couple could even have a baby. What would happen if you were looking like a baby? <laughs> I don't know, and stop calling Turg my lookalike. We look nothing alike. Oh no, they're imagining it. This is like a wild fever dream, this whole thing. Stop it. Oh my god. How have I never seen this game before? Save. Save me. Save me. No, I want to save. Oh, why is Turg the anchor man? Thanks for watching. <laughs> no problem, Turk. Okay, save. Yes, save me. Oh no, save progress. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> the little breakdance he did! Oh, this game is so funny. It's so blurst. Jim is just feckin' pacing. Oh my god, it's so scary. He's got that big grin on his face. He moves so fast too compared to Turk, who is uh, a little bit slower. There he goes. Look at him go. Wow. Good evening to you. Good evening, Turk. I brought you another offering of jelly. Oh my god, his eyes when he saw the jelly! <laughs> oh, he went right for it, though. I just had that. Yeah, I know, I gave you more. You like jelly, don't you? Yeah, I ate the whole plate. I decided to donate. What? He donated money to the island. I didn't tell you you could do that. The Turk is such a good person. He made a fountain and he's created his own news prompt for it. A breaking news! This just in! I have constructed a fountain. Thanks for watching. No problem, Turk. It's so fast because the speech just cuts off randomly. Like Donations are accepted. This game is bizarre. Makes no feckin' sense. Alright, they're at the fountain donating to me, I guess. Wait, what is this? Why does he look pissed? What do you think about- What do I think about you and Jim? You're- you're both perfect. Then we can-
Yeah, you can become even closer. That's Some of these triggers won't work to unlock the gate, but that doesn't rule them all out. Jim could try his luck by activating them or keep examining other mechanisms. Let's take these bones, though. They'd look awesome in my uh, graveyard. This is the best trip ever. I got souvenirs of bones. <gasps> look at these bad boys. These one have thumbs down. I'm gonna go for that. Okay, I did it. My impressive skill just got me through. <laughs> No idea how I did that. What is this? Oh, I can excavate these areas. Just think of it as digging up graves, Jim. You're really good at this. Well, he's not feeling so sad anymore. He's energized. He's, he's kind of forgotten about your man's death. Oh, look at him. He's the greatest archaeologist since Indiana Jones all of a sudden. You know what? Forget about excavating. I want to get in through the temple. I'm getting paid from Grim working while I'm out here on a holiday. Where's he going to swim? Where did he find that he can swim? Oh, there's a little pool here somehow. Okay, well, maybe you shouldn't be swimming right now, Jim. Yes, I opened the gate. I'm not really even sure how I'm doing this. <gasps> can I steal this table? Yes. Steal it. Yes, he stole it. Perfect. <laughs> he's so happy with himself. There's all these like cool pots and everything. And he's like, I want this massive stone table. Can't seem to examine anything else in this room. So we just have to pick one. Middle or left. I'm gonna go with left. Please don't kill me. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the hell? What the hell? Extinguish self. What can I do? Okay. All right. That, that worked out kind of nicely, actually. Wait, what? Oh, the waterfall stuff I got. Oh my god, that stuff is amazing. I'll never have to bathe again. Who's Raphael's spirit? Hold on, pause a second. Yeah, exactly. Let's let's have a little think about this. <laughs> His spirit's gonna fade away if no one, like, mourns him and stuff, but I don't know who he is, so I'll pass. Thank you very much, though. Yep. Pass. Okay, I have no idea how this stuff set me on fire, but I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the other one. Okay, we still have another room to go. Oh god, what are these? Go away! Go away! I don't care about these spirits! What am I? Some sort of graveyard owner? Oh my god, it won't stop popping up. It's like I killed the whole village or something. Am I really gonna have to just guess? I can't read my pop-ups because it just won't leave me alone with these dead things. We'll activate, uh, the tree. I- I'm a bit of a tree hugger myself. I will never hug a tree ever again. No, you're not going swimming. Uh, sun glyph, because you know what? There's pictures of the sun all over the place. Yeah, clap, clappy clap. Oh, this looks like it might be the final room. Open, open the treasure chest. Oh, I hope it's a body. 3,300, eh, that's not that much, is it? Oh wait, no, I still have other treasure in my inventory. That was like, as well as the money. Oh, awesome. Oh my god, I don't care about these spirits. Excavate in here, might be some good stuff. Oh my god, what the hell? Jesus Christ! What is this? Well, you gotta join my family, buddy. We have got just the house for you, believe you me. Oh, oh, oh you're gonna be fun. Compliment outfit. <laughs> oh my god, I wish I was as skinny as you. Look at me tying this around my waist so you can't see my fatty thighs. You see, that's the problem with me. I just eat non-stop and it just goes right to my thighs. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my god, he's a great guy. It is Jim Pickens, isn't it? Yeah, that's the name, Jim Pickens. And what can I do for you, Mr. Pickens? <coughs> oh, excuse me. I mean, what can you help me with? Where would I start? Well, I think you'll find that in most cases, problems tend to stem from childhood. <coughs> Not a bad idea. Excuse me, sir, can you please refrain from- It all started when I was seven. Oh, Jim, it's so good to see you again. Hey, Doc, I'm just gonna put this book on the ground for no reason, so you have to pick it up. Oh, Jim, what seems to be the matter? You're acting out again. Ah, uh, I'm just tired, Doc. You know, I'm not a glorified babysitter, Mr. Pickens. Uh, shut up. I'm trying to sleep. All right, I feel a bit better now, but still so sad. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Jim. What seems to be the matter? Well, I died. That was kind of a bummer. Uh, I I'm sorry, you, you died? But I guess really it all goes back to my childhood. I believe you already told that story, Mr. Pickens. Oh, I did? Oh, well, in that case, uh, it all goes back to when I lost touch with my dad and then realized he'd been sent into the future and I went to find him. Into the future, you say? Now, Jim, you wouldn't be lying to me, would you? What? No, never! I would never lie! All of this is the truth, Doc. You just gotta open your eyes, man. 
man. Okay, yes, tell me the story, Jim. Also, one other thing, would you mind removing that headdress? Yes, doctor. Yes, I would mind, actually. Okay, so the year was 2091, and I had just arrived in the future. Wow, I can't believe I'm in the future now. What a bizarre journey that you'll never hear the backstory to. Also, where are my clothes? Dad, I finally found you. How could you leave me like that? For love, Jim! For love! You're supposed to love me, Dad! What, who are you talking about? I'm like, sorry, Jim! I just can't control it! The heart wants what the heart wants! Jim, I'd like you to meet Mole 4! Hi! I'm so if you watched along at home, the last episode, you'll know we were hitting on the Grim Reaper a lot, uh, but we just can't seem to get anywhere. Luckily, one of his distant relatives has moved in next door, and we're gonna go visit him. <gasps> There he is, literally just walking to someone's house, sit down on their sofa and start chatting. This is already going better than with the other guy. Oh, I don't know if it counts as a kiss if the other person doesn't have lips, but uh, eh, I'm counting it. This is going so well. They've known each other for what, like 10 minutes and they, they just became boyfriends. Holy shit, they are actually in love. Look at this. I've never seen chemistry like this in The Sims, <laughs> like legit. Who knew he would get on with the bringer of death so well? Oh, I wouldn't have kissed those. <coughs> Woohoo. All right, kids, turn off the video here, but I'll tell you what happens. They just, they celebrate their love by going, woohoo. Oh, he just got into his sexy wear and his hands got normal. I wonder if death could create life. Like, obviously not like this. That wouldn't work. He has no bathroom, which I guess makes sense because he's the Grim Reaper. But then why does he have a bed? Wait, you reckon he sleeps around? Wait, why is the- why is the time? Slow down! He sped up my life! I can't stop it! Oh, Jesus Christ, what just happened there? He literally just took a day of my life! Grim Reaper and Grim. He's much skinnier, he's not as buff. Jim learned that the Grim is unemployed. Well, I guess there isn't any need for two of you, is there? Ask to move in. Whoever buys that house is gonna be really disappointed when there's no bathroom. So it's one bedroom, one bathroom, right? Or is it two bathrooms? Uh, actually, it's, uh, it's uh, zero bathrooms. <clears throat> oh my god, things are going to hell down in the slave rooms. I'm just going to ignore that. Out of sight, out of mind and all that. Oh, he's already settling in. I might be your stepdad one day. Woohoo and rocket ship. Yeah. Dang it, it's the space... Wait, wait, hold on. He doesn't have a face. <laughs> There's nothing in there. Your love takes me to the moon. Oh shit, they're actually flying- oh god, look at that face. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. And look at that face. look at that, look at that blank space. Nice to meet you, where you been? I don't have a face or nothing. Got, Got our musician over here, who is half naked and bald and just not really good at piano. She clearly wanted one of them. Which one it was, we don't know. And it's done, I think. Uh, are, are we done, folks? Okay, Jim is gone. He's gone small talking now. Huh, nice weather, right? All right, Jim, time for the after party. Oh God, what the hell? What is going on? Okay, brilliant. Now this wedding will never be forgotten. Oh, she doesn't mind being burned. She's like, eh, whatever. I could take it or leave it. Oh, this one too. She's not that bothered either. What about that guy in the park? Is he upset about this or is he okay? Oh no, he's, he's dead. Oh, where's this person? I don't know, did they just run from the event, or were they just locals that I burnt instead of the guests by accident, but, uh... People are dying. Oh, here goes another one. Oh, and another one. Another one bites the dust, ah. Can you stop playing that wedding music over our wedding music, please? I'll drown it out with the wedding music. Haha, <laughs> happy! This is one of the most bizarre weddings I've ever seen. An old man and the Grim Reaper getting married to this music. Oh, he's the best man I've ever seen since Jules. Wait, who is this? She better not be in a relationship with you. Wait, are they related? Oh yeah, our first kiss, I forgot. Hey kid, you think he likes you? Check this out. Zombo- Rabo! Feck! Shit! Alright, I'm gonna slap that kid again so he forgets it. Make naughty suggestions. Stop bringing me, I'm networking! Yeah, Bob. <laughs> oh my god, why would you make a naughty suggestion and then start doing that? Woohoo! Yeah, go for it. 
<laughs> I mean, it's high risk, high reward, right? Oh, I think he's digging it. Yeah, he's digging it. Look at him. They're eager. <laughs> it was the sweater that I wrapped around my waist. That's what gets him. They can't resist. Unfortunately, there's a long way to the bedroom. I hope he doesn't change his mind. Look at how good a dear leader picture would look above that bed. Let's go first person for this. What the, what the feck? What's going on? What the shit? All right, maybe we shouldn't have gone first person. Oh, wait, no. We got it. <laughs> oh, God, he's laughing at me. That's not good. Ah! Oh, <laughs> he's delighted with himself. Ask if single. Yeah, I should probably ask that earlier, but I'm asking it now. Oh, he's single. Okay, well, that's not as fun, but still, it's fine. First kiss now. <laughs> Try again. Try again. <laughs> There you go. This is definitely my shortcut to fame. Oh, I must have hit the kid again and tried to hide the body by the looks of it. <laughs> no one will fu Slit throat! Fucking hell, he's trying to kill the guy! Jesus Christ! Jim, no! This is our one in! Christ almighty, and everything's going so well, like he genuinely likes the guy, and he's like, Yeah, I think I'll slit his throat! <laughs> he's very uncomfortable, I don't blame him. Serenade will get me plus fame, apparently. Uh, you just walking away while I'm serenading you? Dick? <laughs> oh shit, I- did I adopt one? I don't know, I was just clicking to- to view it, to see what was its perks and stuff, you know? Well, he's coming back with a baby. May as well go again. Barry. I'm- he's not even getting the Pickens name. Barry Reject. We can copy and paste that for the next one. Oh, this one's old enough to understand he's unwanted. Adopt him. Uh, Gonzalo Reject? Get out of here. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Come and spending time with me. Robert reject? Kid, get off that feckin' computer right now. They must just be like, we've hit the jackpot here. Two extremely famous dads and a wonderful house. God, he's doing a lot of runs to get kids. Oh, look at that kid just wandering out by the pool. <laughs> he's probably gonna stumble in. And reject. And Darian reject. There we go. No one's feeding this toddler. He's just kind of idling there. The rest are kids, so they can all take care of themselves, but this guy can't. He's just being left there. Look, I just don't think it's working out. I thought you were a lot more famous than you are. Can we just be friends? Yambala. <coughs> now is a good time to address this, right? Yabahorn. Yeah, <laughs> he's just like, what the hell? <laughs> oh god, he's freaking out. I've ruined his life. They've decided to cool off their relationship. Well, look, to be honest, if you're gonna be like this, I don't want to live with you. I'll move in with my old family and we'll just go our separate ways, okay? I'll even go back to my own house. Look, I'm sure you'll be fine with the kids. I can't imagine anything going wrong. It's not like I've dumped you into a situation where you almost feel like you're drowning because of the stress and you've too much to handle. All right, well, I stand corrected. Okay, I was wrong. Big whoop. I ruined this guy's life more than I think I've ever ruined anyone's life in The Sims. <laughs> like, it was just picked apart piece by piece. And more importantly, I took all these kids along with me. <laughs> all the rejects, right? He's passed out from the shock. Oh no, Thorn is dead and there are no more adult Sims left alive. Sim social services will take it from here to care for the children. <laughs> Save and manage worlds. <laughs> well, folks, it looks like a nice home opened up in the hills, and we can finally move out of this dump. Golly gee, things seem to always work out for the Pickens household. Oh, it's unfurnished. Feck, I'm gonna have to furnish the whole thing myself. Oh my god, the place looks feckin' miserable now. I hate it. Oh. <laughs> well, Kylo, you did the worst thing of all. You wasted Jim Pickens' time. Jim Pickens has murdered Kylo Ren. The dark side was Jim all along. <laughs> he starts telling him a story or something. <laughs> that was the secret to taking down the First Order all this time. Forget about the lightsabers and the blasters. Molotov cocktails. <laughs> right, before we head out of this godforsaken planet, let's head to the Resistance. I have unfinished business there too. God, the music's getting so menacing. <laughs> it knows what I'm up to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's that situation dealt with. I'm just gonna leave you burn here. <laughs> Hopefully it'll catch fire to your entire base. Um, peace out. <laughs> the one issue is I've created a power vacuum. I've destroyed both the resistance and the first order. I know the smugglers are still there and I know they'll take over. So I got to deal with them too. There we go. <laughs> Wait, why is fire not affecting him? He looks bored. I just set you on fire. <laughs> it even came up that I murdered him. Oh, there we go. It was one of those uh, fires that take a while to spark up. I needed to blow on him a little bit. <laughs> Just a gentle ember on his shirt and I'm there like... Whoo, 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 come on, little fella. Whoo, whoo, whoo. 
Oh my god, he has a baby. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Hey, Harry, how's this for magic? <laughs> Won't be the boy who lived for long, will you? <laughs> that poor kid has to watch his father burn. <laughs> He's just clapping for it outside. What a useless human being. Not even attempting to put out the fire. He went to sleep. I'm bored now. Due to neglect, Mabel is being whisked away to safety. You want to whisk anyone else away to safety while you're at it? Finally. Proof that Jim Pickens is way more evil than Voldemort and way more competent. Uh, oh, you were in there the whole time just waiting? <laughs> Harry Potter fans watching this video are probably very upset right now. <laughs> but I've said it for a long time. Voldemort shouldn't have tried the killing curse. Should have just lit the baby on fire. And remember to subscribe to my channel. Or else. More, 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 like. Rag, rag, more, more, more.